After 20 years of stacking wood in square, linear piles, I've switched to stacking in these round piles for a couple of good reasons. First of all, it's a lot easier. As I'll show you, uh, the only wood you actually stack is the wood that forms the outer round walls. The rest of the wood is thrown inside. Another reason is stability. If you build these piles right, they're not going to fall over like square piles so often do. They also look really nice and they've got a, a built-in tarp under this last layer of wood to shed water. Now in order for this to work right, you have to put the pile together properly. There's more than meets the eye. I want to start by showing you how I lay out the pile so it starts off perfectly round. I start each round pile with a 12 inch stake pushed into the ground in the middle of where I want the pile to be and then this length of four foot long rope with a loop in the end that goes around the stake. This is my compass and I work my way around the stake and the end of the rope determines where I put the ends of this first round of wood. I'll continue using the rope for about two or three rounds until I get a good round start on my pile. After that, simply a matter of following that original round with more wood as I go up and keeping that wood plumb by eye as I work higher. It's been a year since I've stacked these piles, and as you can see, they're still standing strong and tall. Now, that's not going to happen for you, though, unless you use poles like this. I've cut them from the forest. They're eight feet long, which is the same length as the diameter of the pile I'm stacking. And I've laid these poles in to three or four different places in the wood as it rises. You can see the end of one here. There's other pole ends just like it further around the pile. That binds everything together and stops it from breaking outwards under the pressure of the wood that's contained inside. You do this and your pile is going to last really well for as long as you need it to.